dividing radicals of different indexes. Okay, here we have a radical of a square, a square root, here's a cube root. I'm going to convert these both to fractions. So we have 5 to the 1 half. Where the 1 half comes from, the 1 comes from the exponent of the understood 5, of, under, of 5 of the understood 1. The 2 comes from the fact that this is a square root. Using that same idea, this 5 also has an understood 1, so that will be the numerator, and the 3 is the denominator. Now, whenever we divide common bases, we subtract exponents, so this will be 5 to the 1 half minus 1 third. And in order to subtract fractions, we have to have the same denominator. So this will be 5 to the, I'll multiply this by 3 over 3, which will give us 3 over 6. And this will by 2 over 2, which gives us 2 over 6. And this finally gives us 1 sixth. Converting this back into a radical, the 6 will be the root. So this will be the 6 root of 5 to the first, and 5 to the first is simply 5. Okay, number two. Again, we're going to convert this into a fractional exponent. So this will be x, 2 is the numerator, over 3. The denominator comes from the root here, that's a 3. Okay, here we have x to the 3 fourths. And now since we're dividing common bases, we're going to subtract exponents. This will be x to the 2 thirds minus 3 fourths. Okay, now we get the common denominator, which will be a 12. So I'll multiply this by 4 over 4, and I get 8. And this by 3 over 3, and I get 9. And so now I get x to the negative 1 12. Now, the negative we're going to remove by taking the reciprocal of the base. So we have a 1 over x to the 1 12th power. And now I'll convert this into a radical. So we have a radical for the 1, 12th root of 1, all over the 12th root of x. And the 12th root of 1 is 1, so this becomes 1 over the 12th root of x.